The Baselinker Connect integration allows for communication between two Baselinker accounts. You can pass on products from one Baselinker storage to another, as well as orders or even a shipment number. This integration is used by wholesalers, as some of them have their own Baselinker accounts and allow you to connect with them through the Baselinker Connect integration. Another scenario in which you can utilize this integration is one in which you, as a producer, can share a Baselinker Connect code with your sellers, thus becoming their wholesale supplier. To add this integration, go to the Integrations tab and select Add Integration. Then type Connect in the Search tab. Click on the Baselinker Connect tile. Here you can do two things. The first one is to paste a code you received from another user, for example, a wholesaler or producer. The second one is to create your own code to share with other people in case you are the wholesaler or producer. Let's call this connection Academy. Then we need to decide if we want to receive the orders the other user will be generating. Let's choose yes. Which status should these orders download into? Let's choose, for example, packed. Do we want to copy the payment status? Let's say we want to copy only complete payments. Now let's decide if we want to send the shipment number and if we want to receive the shipment number generated by the other user we are sharing data with. What's important? The shipping label is passed on as well. It's a two-way forwarding of information. Then we select if the cost of delivery should be copied from the order or set as zero. We can overwrite product data, but only in the fields matched with the catalog we shared with the client. If they are matched by the SKU, then we can overwrite such information as name, price, tax rate, SKU, or weight. Then we choose our default warehouse. If we have several warehouses, we can choose one of them. Then we choose what to do with not matched products, omit them or not. If we choose to omit them, the unmatched products will not be included in the order. Further on, we can add additional information which should be added. And one of the more important settings, whether we want to share products. We select yes, and at this moment, we want this other account to have access to our default catalog to all the products from the inventory or selected categories. Language is, of course, English. Language and the other settings here depend on the main settings of our catalog in Baselinker. Price group, descriptions, parameters, and images. We click Save. Go back to Integrations and notice that once the integration is added, you cannot switch on the Downloading Orders option. This has to be done at the Baselinker Connect configuration stage and cannot be added or changed later on. The key has now been generated. We copy the connection code and go over to the other account. On the other Baselinker account on which we will be receiving the information, we click on Add Integration in the Integration tab. We type Connect in the search bar to find our integration and click on Baselinker Connect. Now in the space in the I have a connection code from another user section, we simply paste the code we just copied, then click verify code. The connection is made. We can see the name we picked in the previous account, as well as a few bits of information we need to fill out. Do we want to hide prices? We choose no. Do we want to overwrite invoice data? If we choose yes, we can input invoice data, which will be used by the wholesaler. This means the wholesaler will not be using the invoice data the client inserted while placing an order. For example, in a marketplace account or e-store, but the data we insert into this section of the form. The wholesaler will issue an invoice using our details. Of course, we can still issue the customer with a regular invoice with their data using our Baselinker account. Should we forward orders? Yes. We want to create a button on the order card to forward orders. Click Save and close the integration.
Now, if, for example, we'd like to create a new order and add a product to our new order, then on the drop down list of default catalogs, we'll see Base Linker Connect Academy. As you can see, we have here access to the product warehouse from the other account. We can also, in the Products tab, Import, Export, Import Products from an External Storage, and choose Baselinker Connect Academy account. This means we can download products from that account into our own one. On the Order card, an extra button has appeared. Academy. This button is an automatic action added by Baselinker which results in downloading this order to the other account. Here we have the Ben Wright order. We have a test product. Here we actually don't have a product, so let's add one from the Baselinker Connect catalog. A product is now added, so we click on Academy. At this point, the order will be sent to the other Baselinker account. On the other Baselinker account, in the packed status, the order has appeared. Ben Wright. We have our product. We have the order information. As you can see, there is a product missing from this order. This is because the option to omit unmatched products was turned on, so we can only see the matched products from this order. As you'll see in the order list, a new Connect icon has appeared. This means this order has been sent to us from another Baselinker account. So, if we are the wholesaler or supplier of this product, we can now order shipping for this order, we can process it, and the other account simply passes the order information to us. Once the connection key is received on the other account in the Integrations tab, under Baselinker Connect, you can set up the remaining parameters for this connection. We have the Connection tab here. In Products, you can add a price multiplier and correct a stock level quantity taken from the Baselinker Connect storage. You can add several price multipliers for different price groups. For example, from one pound to 100 pounds, you can add a 15% multiplier by inputting 1.15 here or 2.0 or 20%. Alternatively, you can choose to add a specific value to the product price. For example, 10 pounds by putting it into this window. Of course, this 20% or 10 pounds will only apply to product prices between 1 and 100 pounds. From 101 pounds to, let's say, 500 pounds, we can add a 10% margin by typing in 1.1, and additionally, we're adding 15 pounds to the price. When it comes to quantity corrections, we can decide that if the stock levels are between 0 and 100, we can add a certain quantity or choose a fixed value. For example, 30 units of stock. Here, just like in prices, we can add several different such corrections. Third tab is for synchronizing prices delivered from Baselinker Connect. Once every 24 hours is free, the other options are priced accordingly. It's the same when it comes to synchronizing stock levels. Here, we synchronize every eight hours, every hour, or every five minutes. We can also connect statuses. We can send order status updates from us to the other account, as well as receive status updates from the other account into our Baselinker account.